It's a super exciting time for quantum science and engineering. Quantum computers could give us tools that actually help us to design new materials or understand things at a basic fundamental level that could completely revolutionize a lot of the technologies that we have right now. I'm Lee Bassett. I'm a professor of electrical and systems engineering here at Penn. Microsoft Majorana chip is very important and exciting advance towards the goal of really being able to demonstrate control and frankly even the existence of some exotic quantum states. Controlling quantum states and making it last for a long time is really a challenge. And so these states like Majorana fermions are believed to be very robust. However, they're also very difficult to engineer. So in classical computing, we're controlling data at the level of digital states that are zeros or ones or other discrete states. In quantum computation, we're doing the same thing, but we also have the ability to encode the superposition states of being simultaneously or partially in, in, in zero and one and in different combinations. We really don't know what actual hardware architecture will serve as the basis for quantum technology. Um, companies and academic groups uh, are pursuing lots of different options. I think the idea of Majorana fermions is, is really exciting from a fundamental science point of view. You have to be clear that this is really far from any kind of near-term application in terms of quantum computation. 